Hello, Green Life Today family. I hope your Tuesday, your beginning a work week is off to a great start. So um, this past week has been really challenging. I've been doing a lot of activism and listening to different groups and people, some things positive, some things not. It's just amazing. Um, but through it all, there are many big hearts. So I wanted to share some poems that have helped steer me um, toward what I think may be my course, and yet at the same time being open to surprise and challenges. And these are taken from the book Deepening Engagement, Essential Wisdom for Listening and Leading with Purpose, Meaning, and Joy. And this um, past week I've heard so many narratives about you know, racial violence and homelessness and sexism. And if you're careful of those things, well, for me anyway, those things could really lead you to, um, you know, not trust and doubt society or humanity. So I always enjoy a good poem or a good book that restores my faith in the possibilities of what could be and the venture that awaits when I face things that may not always be pleasant, but there are always opportunities for me to grow. So this first poem is called Clean Your Compass Often, and it's by Jennifer Jinks Hoffman. Clean your compass often. Sometimes when you think you should be going this way, the needle trembles points ever so slightly to that way, sometimes even the opposite direction. Oddly, the compass sometimes seems to make a sound as if ticking, measuring time's relentless gift. You think you know, sometimes you do, but if you want your life to be alive for you, allow yourself to be surprised. Make time to sit with your compass, preferably daily. You need a good cloth, soft and well-worn. Perhaps you can sit with the compass in your upturned palm. Shut your eyes or not. Maybe put it next to your bed. It might encourage your dreams to suggest destinations. They say a compass is both teacher and student. It gets to know you, what serves you best if you make friends with it. They say it's like as below, so above, and the opposite. They say a clean compass can lead to mountaintops. Equally, maybe even more importantly, it can lead to veils or valleys where shadows hide gold. Your job is simple. The compass, your breath, you. And I think that that takes practice, listening to your compass, even remembering to put it by your bedside. And so this poem that I'm going to end with um, kind of teaches us what happens when we don't make use of our compass, when we don't focus on directions that are given to us organically. This is by the Buddhist, and I'm sure I'm not saying her name right, Pima Chodron, from The Wisdom of No Escape. Life's work is to wake up, to let the things that enter into your life wake you up rather than put you to sleep. The only way to do this is to open, be curious, and develop some sense of sympathy for everything that comes along, to get to know its nature and let it teach you what it will. It's going to stick around until you learn your lesson, at any rate. You can leave your marriage. You can quit your job. You can go only where people are going to praise you. You can manipulate your world until you're blue in the face to try to make it always smooth. But the same old demons will always come up until finally you have learned your lesson, the lesson they came to teach you. Then those same demons will appear as friendly, warm-hearted companions on the path. Beautiful seasoned words. I hope you have a marvelous day and a, I don't know, spectacular, surprising week. I will talk to you later. Have a great month of August, everyone. Bye.